begin with some breaking news out of Pasco County. A judge has denied the stand your ground motion for Curtis Reeves. He's the retired Tampa police captain who shot and killed Chad Olson in a Wesley Chapel movie theater. And we're going to get straight to Avery Cotton now, who is live at Wesley Chapel. Wesley, what can you, or Avery, what can you tell us about this today? Well, good, e good afternoon, rather, to you both. Plain and simple, Judge Susan Barthel said in this ruling that she believed Curtis Reeves' story was not credible and that he was trying to justify his actions after he shot Chad Olson. Now, she did cite several factors. You may recall Reeves claimed he was hit on the corner of his left eye with either a fist or a cell phone. The judge said video evidence and basic physics contradicts that. Reeves also stated that Olson was, quote, virtually on top of him. Again, the judge says between video evidence and witness testimony, that cannot be proven. Now, Reeves did maintain throughout the entire hearing that it was a life or death situation. Well, <coughs> at that point, it was his life or mine. And that's when the pistol came out. And what did you do with that pistol? I shot him. And one of the three factors considered in a stand your ground case is believing your life is in danger and you have no option but to defend yourself with lethal force. But Judge Barthel again says in the ruling that there's too much evidence that contradicts Reeves' story. Now, both sides all along have said they, do, they are prepared to appeal this decision. If that happens, it'll go back to a judge to reconsider. I did speak with both the defense and the state. Neither one of them has a comment at this time. A pretrial date has been set for March 31st. Back to you. All right, Avery, giving us the very latest on this, and I, this is only the beginning of probably a long battle that is still going to continue. Yeah. Avery Cotton, live for us tonight. Thanks. We'll continue to follow this story.